yeah, um, we lost most of our bets and we could not, um, we we're almost closing shop. We could not operate at a top level again. So that dovetail into not having income. Nothing was coming in for us to, you know, take care of our business and take over of our homes. So if there was no income, uh, life was, was almost coming to a close during the pandemic. It was a very tough time during the pandemic. My name is Yusuf Ibrahim Bundubenga, um, the CEO of Autilex Farms. We are into the processing of uh, food, specifically processing of um, broiler beds into chicken for public consumption. When we found out that our business was selected to receive the Legal Scale Grant, um, we were very happy because we felt um, uh, at last um, a kind of uh, divine help has come for the business and uh, we felt um, it was going to, you know, boost our business and take us back on board. So uh, we felt very, very happy that uh, the business was selected for the grant. I heard about Lagos Care Grants uh, from a friend. You know, people come around with such things and most of us, I didn't believe in them because we felt, you know, it's one of those calm, but at least um, that's how I felt about it. And uh, I was not too, um, keen into it at that time. The application process was um, quite um, easy because um, it was online and uh, within um, some minutes after submission of your um, application, there was a feedback immediately from the uh, LSTF. I was convinced um, to apply at the time because um, at that time, I mean, during the pandemic, we were looking around for um, any form of assistance and uh, we felt okay and I was uh, convinced by my friend that to try it and see if our uh, uh, luck will shine on that so that's why we came to it. We received operations grant I think uh, it was very easy. Lagos Scale Grant has really assisted our business in the sense that uh, before the pandemic uh, we, we used to you know get our bread frozen outside. We used to take them to a particular um, cold room for free freezing. But upon receiving the grant, we were able to build our own um, freezing unit that had been assisting our business in a very good way. Since we received the Lagos Cares grant, um, we don't only um, freeze our own beds from here, we also assist other farmers that we are within our range to you know, fill their own beds too, and that's an extra income to our business. So it has been very, very helpful to us. During the pandemic, we were almost not um, operating again because um, there was no um, inflow. There was no, there was nothing to operate with at that time, and uh, we we're almost closing shop. You know, a man that uh, could not provide for the family at that time is almost like no man. So emotionally we were downcasted and uh, we were almost not being able to do anything. But being a Muslim, we have to keep faith in God and keep praying and hoping that uh, some kind of um, um, divine help will come from Him to sustain us through that pandemic. We were uh, at that time only just looking out for palliative to, 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 to hang on to. But thank God for God, we were able to survive it. And the tough decisions we had to make was um, trying to reach out to people, family and friends, uh, because we were resolute to continue the business, so we had to reach out to people to give us support in terms of uh, giving us beds, giving us um, feed, and uh, supporting to us with, even with um, financial means to sustain the business. So it was a very tough decision to make for us at that time, but we are resolute on continuing the business. Yeah, the business um, was fearing fairly, at least we were, uh, it was some um, years into our starting time and uh, we were able to, you know, to, um, buy our beds and uh, um, develop them, um, getting them ready for production. So we are we 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 operating fairly before the pandemic. Thank God for the grants that we were able to receive. At least from then on and in this period and for the, into, into the future, we can say that um, we can operate um, confidently and uh, once we process our beds within this same place, we grow them, we nurture them to maturity and we process them here without taking them out of this place to process. So it has been a very helpful way to keep our business compact. If I have to sum up the 
Lagos case grant in one sentence, I would say that um, the grant has been um, very, very helpful to our business. To the World Bank, we say a very big thank you for this wonderful project. To um, the last Lagos State Governor, uh, Mr. Babaji Sawalu, we say a very big thank you to you too. And uh, to the LSTF team, we say thank you, thank you, thank you once again.